Hello everyone, I'm Alex and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a browser in JavaFX. Let's see how it will look. I'm opening it. What? You thought I am on Firefox on, or Google Chrome? Guess what? This is a JavaFX web browser. It has all the functionality that big web browsers have. Like for example, I can uh, choose my search provider. I'm gonna search on Google for YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna search for YouTube France, for example. Okay, and I can open YouTube. Let's go, for example, to see a video. I'm gonna open a video from my channel. Okay, let's have a look. You can see that we can see and here comes whatever we want back. okay here it is another page of youtube stack overflow it is fully working i can go back i can go forward i can add a new tab i can close an existing tab i can search with yahoo for example okay and here we are let's see how i made it if i want i can reload the page also okay i'm closing it let's go on eclipse this is the project right here basically what you have to remember is two classes one it is the controller of the web browser which is basically the tab pane which has the tabs and the other each uh, is the each tab in individually the controller which is um, a web view which has a web engine inside it so let's start in the application.main uh, we have uh, our primary window you know basic stuff I'm taking the width and height of uh, the screen the resolution and I'm showing a window so let's close it and go on web browser controller on web browser controller right here we have a tab pane which inside has op here we are um, in the web browser controller we have a tab pane with a button to add tabs let me run it a little bit it the video might lags um because the computer is a little bit slow okay okay so here it is uh, the add button and this is the tab pane which is controlled by the web browser controller so when i'm clicking to add a new tab let's go on initialize method so here it is the action method of add button when i'm clicking to add a new tab this thing here happens i i'm allowing only eight tabs to open for performance reason but you can change it to whatever you want you can type here whatever you want okay so here when i'm creating a new tab what i'm doing is i'm creating a new instance of web con web browser tab controller i'm adding uh, a, an action event when I close the tab this thing happens so if I close all the tabs all the tabs you can see that a new one opens so a new tab is always opened okay so let's go on a web browser tab controller basically here we have the web view and the web engine here it is a constructor constructor is uh, basically creating a new instance of the fxml file so here is the good thing on the initialize method it is a little bit complex and you have to read the code right here so let me explain you as you can see each tab let me reload it okay you can see here a progress bar well the progress bar is created right here you can see right here and it is a stack pane which has a progress bar and a text the text has a binding to the uh, work 
loader of the web engine. What that means, when you load the page, um, a background screen is running, which is loading the website. The website is being loaded by this thread that it is named load worker. Okay, here I, when we have an exception, I'm showing this message. Originally, um, I I'm showing some notifications, but um, you must have controls effects library. In this project, we have only GFEONIX and commons validator. So, okay, here, uh, as you can see, that web view has no scroll bar i will fix it in the next version which uh, will come with extra free player this web browser is uh, basically made for extra free player and it took me about one day and a half so here i'm hiding the scroll bars i will fix that in another version and the search bar here which is from gfeonix right here and the other stuff like back backward let me search okay if i search something i can go back and i can go forward okay how i'm doing this you have to read some code right here i'm validating if a website is correct for example if i press https dot stack overflow dot com and I press enter you can see that it isn't searching on uh, stack on duck duck go or Google or whatever I have chosen but it goes directly to the website that it is done um, with um, the URL validator from this library here. So if the if it is the URL is a valid website, I'm going directly to that website. If it isn't, I am doing a search on the search provider. So basically, that's the stuff you need to know. The other are things like uh, marker right here. So if the title is too big it will go right and left to show all the title so that's all about this video if you want to see more subscribe on my channel and i see you all very soon